You had what's called an absence seizure. Anything like that happened to you before? No, nothing. He's been really healthy. He jogs, he eats yeah. right. He... I, well, I did have a, a headache last Sunday. And for the past two years, I've been getting acid reflux a lot. And I thought that uh, antacids were all I needed. Should I have come in sooner? For acid reflux and a headache? I, you know, I hear the coffee downstairs is really good. C could you give me a cup, honey? W would you mind closing the blinds? His right testicle was almost twice as big as his left. Cool. It's probably testicular cancer. No, that's impossible. The symptoms all indicate his shoes aren't right. Here's how testicular cancer would manifest itself. First, the patient would get the exact symptoms that he's got. Then Foreman would examine him. Then he'd suspect testicular cancer on account of the symptoms being so perfect. Then he'd stick a needle in it. Then he'd call a surgeon. And while that guy operates, the rest of us would be out bowling. And since we're not wearing bowling shoes, the disease obviously did not progress in that fashion. LP showed some white cells, but his MRI is clean. Sure. If you call a microabscess in his brain clean. Well, you don't trust me? Are you talking about the left temporal lobe? Neat. You can see through my hand. It's just a shadow. Or it's an infection. When guys have brain crotch problems, it's usually the result of using one too much and the other too little. Blood and urine were negative for syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia. So treat him for all three. Stat. Um, negative means he doesn't have it. No, negative means he probably doesn't have it, which means he probably has cancer. I thought we were wearing the wrong shoes for cancer. We're wearing the wrong shoes for testicular cancer. They're perfect for lymphoma. Except chases, they're just goofy. Lymphoma could cause infiltrates in his reproductive organs and his brain. If it's this advanced, he's dead no matter what we do. So give him the STD meds and I hope the tests were wrong. I think you may have a sexually transmitted disease. No, it's not possible. Sir, maybe we should speak in private. Have you tested him for this? The tests were negative. Well, then it's not that. So what else could it be? Nothing good. If you've been having sex, you have to tell me. I have not had sex since my divorce. Hi. I'm Dr. House. I hear you'd rather die than admit you had sex. I'm sorry, I couldn't tell my daughter. Right, because she's, what, 22? I slept with her mom. She probably knows that's happened already. Roll over. My wife had an affair. I forgave her. She had another affair, and I forgave her again. Amy thinks I was an idiot. So smart. You must be very proud. Roll over. I assume that you've been in love. Is that the one that makes your pants feel funny? I'm starting you on a cocktail of STD meds. Amy is just getting over it. She barely spoke to her mom for months. If she thought that it was happening again, that that's why I got sick. I... We just happened to be at the same... Italian cheese tasting thing. Cheese is the devil's plaything. Mm -hmm. It was just the one night. Oh, you're obviously completely over her. Amy thinks love leads you to make stupid choices. You're certainly setting a good example for her. Yeah, she just doesn't get it. If you're not prepared to look stupid, then nothing great is ever going to happen, right? <laughs> On the other hand, I guess your testicles aren't going to explode, either. Dad, is everything okay? I have a sexually transmitted disease. How's that possible? Well, he met a woman in church. Does she play bridge? <laughs> she... <laughs> Last card! <laughs> Is this 
just another seizure? Shut up. I'm in. Oh god. Here you go. 40 milligrams gerasamide. Knock him out. How would an STD do this? It wouldn't. It was flash pulmonary edema. We took a liter of fluid off, but the problem wasn't with his lungs. It's his heart. There are vegetations obstructing his mitral valve. It's not an STD. Lymphoma wouldn't erupt that suddenly. So what is it? A disease that attacks his brain, heart, and testicles. I think Byron wrote about that. Could be psittacosis. Chlamydia cultures would have come back positive. Strep meridians can hit the heart. What a mess with the reproductive system. Maybe things aren't so nicely connected. He's 65. We could be looking at multiple systems just starting to break down independently. Way to a man's heart is through his stomach. He's had acid reflux for years. It, it can't be relevant. Seems there are other ways to kill people besides having sex with him. this so much. The problem is not your lungs, it's your heart. <laughs> that Italian cheese thing at the church. What sort of cheese? Why do you need to know? I'm having a fondue party. Was it cheap cheese? Might have been. Why? Was it soft? Yeah. Tastes like crap? Uh, yeah, bitter. Tastes like this? Yeah. But how did you... That was regular, low-fat American. I added some bacteria for flavor. Do you fed him bacteria? It's pretty much on everything. Especially the unpasteurized sheep cheese they make in the Alps. That stuff will give you brucellosis. Key to a long life. Exotic women. Boring cheese. I'm gonna start you on rifampin and doxycycline. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, nobody else at the church got sick. 99.9% .9 of Christians have so much acid in their stomach, they become churning cauldrons of death for all those nasty little brucellosis bugs. But you were taking antacids for your acid reflux, so that turned your digestive tract into a pleasant scenic river for all those bacterial tourists. He's a prime candidate for transplanting. Doesn't smoke, drinks moderately. His talk screen was negative for illegal drugs and legal ones. Surveillance blood cultures show absolutely no sign of any lingering brucella bacteria. He's 66 years old. Told me he was 65. Liar. I'm out of here. There is an inverse correlation between patient age and success rates. He's in excellent health. This was his first hospitalization since breaking his leg at 23. Or 22, I'm not sure anymore. If this patient were to survive the operation, he'd get another what? Five, ten? Maybe 20 years if he's very lucky. So you're saying that old people aren't as worth saving as young people? He's saying that hearts are a scarce resource. We obviously have to choose criteria. No, I get it. Women live longer, so they should get preference, right? And African Americans, they die a lot younger, so the hell with them. What, you think you're gonna win me over by calling me a racist? If the test is who gets to use it the longest, you can either be a racist or a hypocrite. Your patient had a life, a family, We've got 18-year-old kids who will never... How old are you, doctor? When do we get to toss you on an ice flow? And thank you, Dr. House. Now, unless anybody else has any further questions, we will now go into private session. Oh, I'm on pins and needles. I wonder how you'll decide. The Nets just won their third game in a row. Beat the Lakers. I'm sorry. They voted no. So, when will I die? Might have a week. <laughs> 